okay so now in this video we will add the aim button and also the fire button so for that you will be needing this package which is standard asset for unity 2018.4 this is from the unity technologies this is a free package and this is the package file so just go ahead and search for this okay as you can see it has all of the things which we needed which is this cross platform inputs various mobile control rigs ready to drag and drop in okay we need the mobile inputs from this package so click on open in unity editor here it is first of all download this and then after downloading click on import right here there is so many things okay as you can see so we will just simply import all of them okay so you simply click on import and now it will take a minute or two to import so just wait for it so as you can see it is being imported it shows a error right here on the script so just double click on it and the only thing which we will be changing is basically this so let's change this to text okay if you have this error then change that to text and at the top make sure that you use uh, this unity engine.ui at the top okay so now as you can see the error is being gone and after adding this package you will see this mobile inputs at the top make sure that you enable this okay it will be automatically enabled but if it's not then make sure to enable the mobile inputs up there and then you will see this standard assets right here okay it has this cross platform inputs it has all of these scripts right here okay as you can see so now let's start adding the buttons so the first button which we want to add is the fire button so for that inside the player ui let's go ui and then legacy and then button and let's name this as shoot okay there is the shoot button let's actually go inside scene view there it is let's move this shoot button to somewhere right here okay and let's remove the text from this button we just want the button and then inside the button drag and drop this sprite in there set native size okay and run on this image actually and now let's resize this button let's see it in the emulator okay there it is let's resize it a bit more okay this much will be enough so basically this will be our fire button let me make sure that it matches the height of this okay so there will be our fire button and then right here we will add the aim button but first of all let's focus on this one okay so after adding the fire button on this shoot button right here click on add component and then search for a script which is by the name of button handler okay and right here name this button okay right here we will type the button of the name of this button so let's name this as shoot okay so now this button name will be shoot and this button handle script comes with this standard assets okay if you go inside the cross platform right here as you can see there are many right here you will find this button handle script okay which we have added right here so this comes with the standard assets that's why i've told you to add this inside your project so just name your button whatever you want but i will name this as shoot and after this i will add a event trigger okay and inside this event trigger i will add a new event by the name of pointer down okay and inside this pointer down i will click on this add to list and let's drag and drop this script in there and then click on function then button handler and select this set button set down state okay then 
add a new event by the name of pointer up and drag and drop the shoot script the shoot button actually and the button handle script and right here select now the set up state that's it you do this and your fire button will be ready now let's just implement this so whenever we click on this we want to fire in the rifle script let's scroll up first of all we need a reference to our this mobile inputs boon where it is it is actually on the player script okay let's scroll up and there it is we need a reference to this button so on the rifle script as you can see we already have a reference by the name of player and using that we have a reference to the player speed and player sprint okay so now we already have that so what we will do here are the inputs let's actually cut all of these inputs and then we will say that if player dot mobile inputs is equal equals to true then we want the mobile inputs to work else we want the PC inputs to work okay so just paste this in there that's it now let's move it right there that's it now for the mobile inputs let's actually copy and paste this again okay so just copy it paste it in there and now instead of this what we will do is to say that if we hit that shoot button which we have created okay then we want to shoot but before that at the top right here you will need to add this library or package if you want which is using unity standard assets dot cross platform inputs because we are using the cross platform inputs from that package and then down below in here we will simply say that cross platform input manager dot get button and we want to get the shoot button okay which we have created right here if you see we have this shoot button which is by the name of shoot okay so whatever you name it make sure that you type that name right here okay so now if we try to shoot on that button it will shoot so make sure that the mobile inputs are turned on or else it will not work if you check right here we already enabled that but we also need to change this to android as well because we are now on the window mac linux okay we don't want that we are building this game for android so make sure that you switch platform to android so it will take a while but after switching the platform now you can be able to run this game on android devices for that you will have to just click on this and then actually click on edit then project settings then click on editor and right here change this to any android device and then connect your phone first of all download the unity remote in your android mobile phone after that turn on that unity mobile application and then you will see your device right here but we will not do that for now we have now switched the platform now if we play the game you will notice that now the fire button will work as you can see the fire button is now working perfectly fine and now if we try to run as you can see our player is able to sprint we can walk as well as you can see right here and we can sprint as well but we can't move our camera I mean we will be able to move our camera on the Android device phone like this let me show it to you consider this uh, mobile phone okay when we play the game our camera will move with this joysticks okay we don't want that we want the camera to be moved on touch okay so when we touch right here then we want to move our camera left right up and down okay 
like that but that is for the future for now we will have to add the aim button and also the jump button so we will do that in the next video